Hey everyone, this is Darkside 2K7, aka Sun Sky Station. Hope we have a fantastic Wednesday and everything. Alright, I know th I'm, this ain't gonna be. Pr I'll try to not make this as long as possible, but I need to get this shit off my chest. President, uh, former President Barack uh, Hussein Obama, please shut the fuck up, because I'm sick. I'm starting to get sick and tired of you. I think pretty much people are getting really sick and tired of you, alright? I mean, seriously, this man cannot stay out of the fucking public eye. The reason why I'm saying Obama he needs to shut the fuck up is because he decided to meddle in some things that he ain't supposed to be in. What he's supposed to be in. So, imagine my shock when he decided to come in and weigh in his two cents about Elon Musk buying Twitter. Yes, as you may know, Elon Musk bought Twitter for 44, for $44 billion. I mean, billions with a fucking B. And this, and everybody was happy about it, I myself included, because now it's like, this is a win for free speech and everything. I'm actually, I'm actually okay with free speech, man. But apparently, motherfuckers on the left, motherfuckers on the left are having a fucking meltdown of epic proportions over this mess. Which, I ain't gonna lie, I mean, I actually uh, got off on that. The salt is so damn good, man. I mean, heck, this is way... The salt from these idiots are, is way more potent than the, than the salt from, from Sony ponies. Yes, I know, this is coming from me who has a PlayStation 4. But at least I'm not that crazy. At least I'm not that level of crazy. Yet. But apparently... Everyone is going off the fucking deep end. Every, everyone on the left side of the political spectrum has going off the goddamn deep end. Where if mainstream media tried to label, tried to say that, say some dumbass bullshit. Like the View, Sonny Hostin said, "Oh, Elon Musk said that he made uh, bought Twitter for for uh, free speech." Oh no, he's made it free speech for straight white men. For straight white men, I was like, who, like what the fuck. And then there was also an MSNBC contributor who said that that um that claims that uh, Elon Musk made tweets that is transphobic and homophobic, which offered no fucking plot, which offered no fucking uh evidence or proof to back up her claim. I mean, no surprise though. When it comes to left, we have to claim bullshit, claim anyone of shit. It's like they say shit, and instead of actually providing that. Providing info to be like, trust me, bro. You know, just trust me, bro. You know, this, trust me. Because, you know, that's the only proof you need. But now, Barack has managed to come out and say, is now advocating for censorship by saying we need a board, that we need more regulation on this, on social media. I was like, for what? For what? Because last time I checked, there wasn't, there, for last time I checked, Trump wanted to put more regulations in the, in Twitter, but y'all managed to manage to make sure he didn't get it because, oh, he, he was doing something that was bad and it was trapping on somebody's free speech. Now, Elon Musk owns the, owns the company. Now you want to say, okay, we need some regulation, which obviously trapped with free speech. So basically what you idiots are trying to do, you're trying to do what you prevented Trump doing when he was in fucking, when he was a fucking president. And Obama said we need a democratic, uh, the democratic community, democratic regulation on that one. That's bullshit. And notice I said democratic, not bipartisan, not even partisan regulations. No, he said democratic, he said democratic, as these only Democrats can dictate it. Honestly, it, what I'm seeing for this whole bullshit is the fact that motherfuckers are upset, that these idiots are upset that they don't have Twitter anymore. Their safe space has now been bought by the most blackest, the, by, Elon, bought by Elon Musk, the greatest black, the, the most successful African American billionaire in the fucking world. Dude is chill as, as a fucking cucumber. They're mad because they can't control them. And we all know on the left, when they can't control you anymore, then they have to find ways to destroy you. And it gets even better. It's getting even better. Um, Jamel, Jamel Jamal, who is an actress for Marvel, freaks out, freaks out before, before she exit Twitter. 
as he said that Elon Musk free speech bid for Twitter will create hate, bigotry, and misogyny on there. That is a load of bullshit. Cause let's be real, the platform has already have hate, already has hate, and mostly it's hate for right wing, right. Right wing uh, conservatives, Republicans, or people who, or people, people on the right, or people who have a, who's thinking, or people who have a biblical factor, meaning, meaning Christian. Bigotry, oh, oh, okay, okay. Bigotry, okay, that's funny because it's against those who don't think the same way they do, and and by bigotry, it are also foreigners, people who are, you know. Of, a, of the minority variety. I'm not saying people of color are POC because that is that is fucking demeaning even to me. So yeah, there's there's bigotry on that one, and and also misogyny. Well, I mean, there were some quotes. Well, there were some quotes that says "kill all men." That was per that was apparently fine. But if you say "kill all women," oh, not only will you get blasted by the woke idiots. But you also get banned. Yeah, I, I yeah you. So for her to say that say that shit, that's bullshit because that shit was running rampant. That shit was running rampant with no fucking control whatsoever before Elon Musk bought Twitter. So she is so so fucking stupid. And like I said, no one had a problem with Elon Musk. Normal people like myself had no problem buying um, of Elon Musk buying Twitter. Why? Because Twitter needs to needs to get fu needs to get uh, fixed up badly. Because all it had is nothing but goddamn fucking left wing morons spouting whatever bullshit they have and saying some of the most fucked up things imaginable with no consequences whatsoever. I could help but to laugh at this because it's really, it's really uh, funny and mostly stupidity to see these idiots losing their minds over this shit. But and also, hey, we and also remember how when when we were getting when people were getting banned and Twitter idiots were like saying, "Oh, Twitter is a private company, and if you don't like it, you can buy your own, you can build your own your own social media platform." Yeah, Twitter's now Twitter's now a uh, private company, so I have to ask to all you guys: if you don't like it, I know y'all quitting this, and if you don't if you don't like it, you can always build your own platform. I mean, what's stopping you, right? What's stopping you? But anyway, but anyway, I think Obama needs to just shut the fuck up and, st and stay the fuck out of all this shit that he has have zero fucking knowledge of doing. All right, all he's doing is just trying to stay relevant. Dude, nobody likes you, man. You just you just there for salad dressing and whatnot. Shit. I mean, shit for fuck's sake. It's like I, I mean, shit. You was a, and also. And I know I'm gonna catch some heat for this. I'll have to say this: you are the worst African American president the United States ever had. Yeah, I said it. You made all these fucking promises, but yet you didn't keep not one. I mean, say what you want about Trump and everything, and you can say a lot, but at least when it comes to him, at least he kept. No, does he make promises? He kept them, and he and he managed to make our lives better. No. But yeah, oh yeah, but we had to prep. Oh yeah, but we got you in because you're the first black president and everything. And we saw, and we thought we might, you might do so, but you didn't do jack shit. Oh, but I forgot. I forgot. You can't talk bad about President Barack Obama. I mean, former President Barack Obama because he's black. He's black, and if you talk bad about him, you're you are white racist. I'm fucking black. I can talk shit about uh, Obama. So what you gonna say? I, I can hear the motherfucker saying, "Oh, well, uh, if you're black and you talk bad about Obama, then you're a house nigger. You're 
you're a house nigger, you're a coon, you're a Uncle Tom. Because I'm pretty sure that's what basically what everyone else is saying. But, um, you know, like I said, Obama, just shut the fuck up. All right, stop trying to push censorship. Shit, if you're going to push censorship, because, you know, it's like, here's the thing. Censorship doesn't benefit anyone but only one side. But that's just my two cents on the whole thing. Is I just want to get this, get this out of my chest before I had to go go to the library and do some research on some things I'm gonna do for my for WWE 2K22. I actually enjoy that game. It's really fucking fun. But anywho, I would like to know what you think of this, uh, what Obama was trying to do. All right. Now, as always, be sure to leave a comment, like this video, subscribe to the channel, click the notification bell so you don't miss out an update, share with your friends, share with your neighbors, share with others, and that's about it. Until next time, this is Darkside 2K7, aka Silent Sky Scissors, signing off. Thank you for watching this video, it really means a lot, and I will see you in the next one. God bless you all, and fuck you, Obama. Fuck you, and shut the fuck up. Fucking moron.